It's always the same dream. I'm laying on my back in a grassy field. And how do you feel during this dream? Happy. Content. Like I'm finally home. That sounds really nice. Then what happens? Then I hear her voice. There you are. I, I don't actually hear it, but I feel the words. Do you recognize the voice? No, but when I'm in the dream, I feel like I do. As soon as I'm there, it feels like we've known each other for years. And the way she talks to me. Come on, Will. Let's go. Saying it out loud sounds dumb, but what I feel in the dream runs deeper than what actually happens. It's like I'm living a complete different life. But when I'm there, it feels more real than this does. It's totally normal to experience dreams like this. It could just be stress. Why are you really here? Because it's always the exact same dream. When I'm with her, I'm so happy. But when I wake up, it's like I've lost someone close to me. I can't focus on awake. I just want to go back to bed so that I can be with her. I become obsessive over a fiction. It's completely understandable. When life becomes stressful, dreams can be a relieving escape from reality. Let's see if we can get to the root of this. What in the day could be causing you stress? We've got this massive little book we've got to read. We have a test on it to make sure that we actually read it. Me and my friend Evelyn are teaming up on it. Come in. I brought the chips. Nice. So, how'd it go? Good. Did you figure it out? You'll never guess. Okay, okay. Is it burnout? Not this time. All right. It's gotta be some family drama. <sighs> We've been friends for years. You know it's not that. Well, what then? I've been getting too much sleep. I freaking hate you. I told you you wouldn't believe me. I will, and I have a good night's sleep every night. I mean, seriously, what's wrong with that? I've been struggling to focus on I'm awake. I've been having these vivid dreams. About what? Come on, Will. Let's go. It's hard to explain. All right. Well, I'm here if you ever feel like explaining. Thanks. You ready to get to work? Yeah, this English assignment is killing me. Honestly, I find uh, the Divine Comedy very inspiring. It was back in Inferno. Oh, yes. Visions of divine love and, and uh, heaven. So boring. But eternal torture. But cosmic horror is cool. All right, Cthulhu, let's get started. Fine. You want to start? You just don't want to read it. So you don't want to read it? All right, fine, I will read, but I actually like it. Without reply, I lifted up mine eyes and saw her as she made herself a crown, reflecting from herself the eternal rays, not from that region which the highest thunders is any mortal eyes so far removed, in whatsoever sea it deepest sinks. And there from Beatrice my sight but this was nothing on to me, because her image descended not to me by medium blurred. Anything else? After that, we broke up the chip she brought and started watching The Office. I'd never seen it before, so we've been watching it the past couple weeks. Interesting. Tell me, how did you sleep last night? Really well. Why? Uh, and what about your dreams? You know, I don't remember having any dreams, but why? Was there perhaps an event or person yesterday that would have introduced a calming presence for you? What do you mean? This might be unprofessional of me, but I couldn't help but note that you described your time with Evelyn in the exact same way you described this woman in your dreams. And 
As soon as her presence is introduced into your environment, the stream stops. Could it be possible that the connection you keep dreaming about might exist right now? Oh, oh no, we're just friends. It's different. All right, maybe I overstepped. I'm just glad that you're making progress. I'm afraid we're out of time for today, but if you need, if you need me at any point, feel free to reach out. Ridiculous. Come in. Hey. You don't have to knock, you know. All right, I'll just break in next time. Great, can't wait. You ready to keep going? Yeah, not too long now, and then we won't have to do these studies anymore. Yeah. Hmm. What's up? I thought you found the Paradiso boring. Well, I did, but um, I'm starting to feel differently now. Well, I'm glad to see that you're changing your mind. Yeah. Come on, Will. Let's go. Are you coming? Yeah, of course. It's your turn to do the reading. Sure thing. Where were we again? Oh, Will. Were you not paying attention? No, I was. Well, maybe I wasn't. We were right here. Ah, okay. Oh, lady, thou in whom my hopes of rest, who for my safety hast not scorned in hell to leave the traces of thy footsteps marked. For all mine eyes have seen, I to thy power and goodness, virtue owe and grace. Thy liberal bounty still toward me keep, that when my spirit, which thou madest whole, is loosened from this body, it may find favor with thee. Hey, Evelyn.